It's always been a bustling, lively little place, you know. Brings attracts a lot of tourists because it's so historic, of course, you know. Well, it's a great place because um, it's got so much, you know, offering. You know, there's the parks, there's the observatories, there's the river, the Cunningham, the naval situation. I think it's an interesting place with all the historical building. I, I really like it here. Various reasons for people coming to Greenwich and clearly the fact that it is on the Meridian Line. It is the, the observatory which is at the top of the wonderful Greenwich Park and the Maritime Museum together with the wonderful architecture of the Royal Naval College that first attracts people to come down to Greenwich. There is a lack of amenities and facilities that once they're here and seen the architectural and museum attractions then they do tend to get back on the boat and, and go back to the West End or the City of London. Uh, I think that we have got an opportunity to actually create a, more facilities and amenities which will retain people in Greenwich for a longer period of time and as a consequence obviously will then spend some money locally. The whole area needs uh, addressing as a complete uh, project, as a complete area. Well, we've just followed the river path and it gets very, very tortuous around some of the developments, but I think that could certainly be improved. And the river needs developing, you've got to do something with the river, it's the best thing that London's got, and it's a real shame the way that it's dead. There are so many areas where nothing is done with the river at all, and as long as you do it right, then it's, it's good. Well, the river's always been underused. It's always been underused, you know, it's been a neglected resource. I believe it does need more money generating into the buildings, etc., and then it will appeal more to tourists. Well, within Greenwich Reach 2000, we are providing facilities that don't currently exist within the town centre. The retail currently is underprovided within Greenwich. There are small shop units, we're going to be able to provide larger retail units which cannot be provided within the existing building. Plus the hotel which is an, an added need for the area. In the wider context of the borough and in the wider context of East London, it will actually provide a focal point for visitors and tourists to come to and use these facilities and amenities. We are going to be creating 1,500 jobs. The knock-on effect of that will also be service jobs, feeding the facility itself. That in itself is then going to create probably in excess of two to 3,000 jobs. So it's a major change for this area in creation of jobs for local people. Greenwich Reach 2000 will really bring the river back into focus where it should be. There's a lot going on on the river, a lot of people think that it's died. It hasn't, it's simply changed its ways. Uh, the development will actually bring leisure to the river. In fact, the, the river itself is an, an attraction in its own right. Well, for me, the real measure of the thing will be the way in which it maximises the opportunities that exist. I mean, this particular site, it's on the river, it's in Greenwich, it's, it's a national heritage environment, it's, you know, it's a fantastic opportunity for an architect. Greenwich Reach 2000 is a truly mixed scheme, it incorporates residential elements, leisure, retail, food offers, cinemas, a real daytime evening opportunity to exploit the river. The Warner Village concept as it applies to the Greenwich Reach project, we believe will be something that has not been seen in Britain before in terms of cinema. We like to bring a sense of choice, a sense of excitement, a sense of a pleasurable day out or night out. We bring a destination that brings people to the project who will spend money not just in our business but other businesses around Greenwich. You know, it's a very, uh, it's a very interesting project for us. Um, we are used to dealing with sensitive geographical locations. 
in an architectural sense. Our flagship project of our, our group is in Australia at a project called the Jam Factory in Melbourne. We also operate an art house circuit less than 200 yards from the Jam Factory. We believe we can add quite a lot and be complementary to the existing cinema facility in Greenwich. The public have been denied access to the river for hundreds of years. We're now bringing that back. The boardwalk link between GR2000 and Cutty Sark is part of that whole structure of a riverside walk and will then be further extended west across the creek and linking up with the residential estate which is going to be built on the other side. The project consists of about 650 residential units. In addition, approximately 30,000 square feet of offices and about another 10,000 square feet of, of other potential retail uses. It extends the, the town centre of Greenwich as we see it, right up to the boundaries of our site. It's all derelict land that's being brought into community use. We are providing this unique uh, cruise liner terminal, which is something that doesn't exist currently. People can go into the Pool of London with ships up to 20,000 tonnes, but we're able to provide a facility here for 50,000 tonnes. That's a major regeneration factor within the whole complex that we're, we're building here. To have a cruise terminal here in Greenwich is absolutely splendid. It's the centre of the country's maritime history. Where better than to arrive but, but Greenwich? When, these, when they come across? The project design, it, it has to have a life at all levels. It needs to work tangibly and it needs to have a scale which is about distant views to the river. It needs to be cognizant that there's a heritage to Greenwich. It will work for young and old, it will work for those that want evening environment on the river, it will work for those that want to stroll along the riverfront. At the moment, to all intents and purposes, it's a derelict closed site and there's no access to the river. Historically, buildings have been built with their backs to the river and it, as a consequence, it does need livening up. We've seen quite a lot of that over the last few years and certainly this development will be a major development and does form part of the overall Thames strategy. There's a tremendous amount of investment going on on the river generally, but certainly located towards Greenwich. There are the extensions to the Docklands Light Railway, the extension to the Jubilee Line, obviously directed towards the Millennium Celebrations and beyond. As part of that extension, there will be a station at Cutty Sark, which is within 300 yards of this site, and is obviously a major factor in terms of infrastructure coming to the area. Anything that can enhance the environment, to bring people to the river, give it back to them, let them get on it, let them enjoy it, has to be good. I do genuinely feel that there are some underutilised opportunities in Greenwich, and Greenwich will expand, it'll become the gateway to London, which it currently isn't at the moment, and that with the cruise liner terminal is, is real international status for Greenwich, and I think it's those sorts of things that excite architects, and I really hope will excite the people of Greenwich. It is clearly a development which does bring, in a balanced way, the various amenities and facilities that are required and looked for by local people as well as by visitors and tourists.